well. Um, some Celtics fans maybe went too far, some folks think, in razzing Draymond in Game 3. I like that word, razzing. Uh, for more on this topic that seems to at least have Twitter a buzz, welcoming <laughs> in Mark Spears. You know a thing or two about Draymond. You've covered this team for, what, a decade and a half? Uh, so let's jump right in. Yeah. Where do you fall on after talking to Draymond, talking to the team, talking yeah. from fans? By the way, I don't know if folks realize Mark Spears was also based in Boston for a while and covered the Celtics. He, so he covered this, you he covered, covered this guy. So you've seen yeah. sort of both so sides know. of all of this. I know. And, and it's been interesting because you saw Draymond's wife, Hazel, very upset, posted on social media about it. But our Horford sister posted something as well, taking a shot back at her. Um, Boston fans are the most passionate in the NBA, for better or for worse. You can hear them right now. Yeah. I remember when the Celtics beat the Lakers in 2008, talking to Kobe Bryant about it. And he said, well, look, we won, and they still threw rocks on our bus and pushed our bus and shook it on our way out. I remember in 2010 when they were playing the Lakers, Lamar Odom's at the free throw line. He was dating Khloe Kardashian at the time. And they were chanting ugly sister when he was at the line. I'll chant anything. So that, that might even eclipse Draymond, but nobody loves their team more. Nobody knows more about them. No one knows more than the history, and no more no one is more ride to die than the Celtic fans. They show up 20 minutes before. They're chanting, let's go Celtics. They are what you are could give as a definition of ride and die fan. And as you see what they said about Draymond, that's the Celtic fan. Well, Richard, you shared an interesting story as we were walking up to set today. Well, well, yeah. It, look, when, there's a million things that have happened here. I've been fortunate enough to play against Boston three times in the postseason, one time and two times in the conference finals to go to the finals. And let me say this. As much as Oracle is crazy and was crazy, when you come out to this side, when you come out to the East Coast, and the Warriors were lucky getting Cleveland and getting the Raptors in the finals. If you get Boston, you get Philly, you get Detroit, you get New York. Those are different experiences as an athlete. Let me express to you. And but the part that I like most is is that kid. The kid. The kid right there is like, well, how can he be upset if he does the exact same thing? That's my thing when we're looking at this. Draymond literally flipped off an entire crowd walking out of Memphis. Now we understand why he just got a bloody eye, but it doesn't matter. The little kid that was sitting right there, Clay Thompson. That little kid didn't do anything. You know, there's other people that might not have been booing him, but everybody got fingers there, and then we. You want to sit here and say, oh, well, this crowd in Boston. It's like, no, you can't have it both ways. If we're going to play the villain, if we're going to do this, you have to accept the villain role. And I don't think anybody does it better than Draymond Green. I mean, what are we talking about I right don't know now? what we're talking like, about. Like, this is the NBA Finals. We're doing all this Thank crime. Hey, we're doing all, we doing all this crime. Thank what the babies go do, okay? What I'm Here's the thing, right? We're talking about the city of champions. We're talking about the bean town. This is where le legends are made, right? This is why we praise Michael Jordan for coming in here and dropping the six piece on the Boston Celtics on Larry Bird. This is why we praise LeBron James when he had 45, I believe it was, in that epic game six when he was with the Heat. This is why we praise Jimmy Butler when he had 47 in the Eastern Conference Finals in a hostile environment. You got to embrace this. Like, this is, okay, you want to shut him up? Come in here and do something about it between the lines. Like, I'm not trying to hear that. Didn't we just see Charles Barkley get hit in the head or something with a bottle <laughs> while he was sitting outside the arena in in San Francisco. Like, we're not about to sit up here and be playing this pity nah, party. You? Nah, show well, up, he say he show up and show out. Mama. Yeah, but, but the point is, huh? is that... He the, did the, say he wanted to do something. Yeah, yeah but I mean, show, show up and show out. Yeah. Basketball is basketball. Yeah. All of that crowd, all of that excess, all of that noise, no different than Gene Hackman did in Hoosiers. The hoop is the same height. The, the, oh. the well, three actually, it line, wasn't. The three the the <laughs> they were trying to trick yeah. But the three-point line, the lines are all the same. Yeah. Go out there and play basketball. Hey, Nobody knows Maybe that's an adjustment for the Warriors tonight. Break out the picket fence. Uh, oh, no, do, do what Kyrie Irving did that one time. You remember they was giving him hell, and he went out there, and he shined, and he, he put on a performance. I Sage. think it was last playoff. Sage? And he, no, and he stepped on Lucky and it pissed everybody off. Oh, about God, yeah, big baby's yeah. still big baby's still mad about it. Uh, Look, to your point about Kyrie though, there there's a line for fans uh between like playful taunting that may be profane and stuff that's obscene and personal where if the player talks back to that and stuff, that's fine. Like this, this to me still, we saw with Trey Young last year in New York. Yeah. This is kind of just typical Perfect. playful it's far fan stuff. If you start to get personal, if you start to get obscene, if you start to get 
you know, anything like that, then it becomes a different story. This, to me, is just kind of a non-thing. Hey, hey, like, let's just play the game. To be honest, Draymond didn't wasn't upset with the fans afterwards. Yeah, here either. we go. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.